Hello Cajon players, Felipe here from CajonMaster.com. Today I'm going to show you seven popular groove patterns that I think you must know. These patterns were created by great drummers and I'm going to give you examples of songs where you can identify the grooves. It's very important to say here that all the grooves I'm going to show in this video are my adaptation from the drum kit to the cajon. Alright, let's get started. Pattern number one, the train beat. This is the most popular groove in country music, but you can also hear this groove in other musical styles. Some of the famous songs that you can hear this groove are Country Road by John Denver, I Got a Woman by Ray Charles, and False of Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. The thing with this groove is to keep the train rolling, let's say, playing the bass on the four beats of the bar, steady, like, like a train. It works well in fast tempos at around 100 BPM and faster. Groove number two, the Bo Diddley beat. It's called Bo Diddley beat because of the song Bo Diddley by Bo Diddley. You can hear this similar groove in more recent songs like Valerie by Amy Winehouse and Faith by George Michael. Bo Diddley brought Afro-Cuban rhythms to his music. And you can see by the foundation of this groove that is based in a 3-2 clave pattern. <laughs> groove number three, the one drop. The One Drop is the most famous reggae groove created by Jamaican drummer Carlton Barrett. Barrett was Bob Marley's drummer. You can hear this pattern in most of Marley's music, like the song One Drop, Three Little Birds, and One Love, just to name a few. This is different from most of popular patterns. This groove has the emphasis on beat three of the bar, with a bass tone accent. Pattern number four, the Dembo. It's very easy to recognize this groove because you hear that in a lot of new pop music. It was first introduced by Jamaican artist Shaba Ranks with the song Dembo. You can also call it a reggaeton groove, because you can hear that in recent reggaeton music, like Despacito by Luis Fonsi and Calma by Pedro Capo. This is a repetitive pattern and because of this repetition works great as a dancing groove. Groove number five is the emotional pattern. You can identify this groove in very famous ballads, like You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman by Carole King, If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys, and Gravity by John Mayer. This is a groove based in triplets, and you can count it as a 6-8 time signature. It works great in slow tempos and gives that emotional feeling. I've posted a tutorial of a similar pattern last week, and you can check it in the link above. Pattern number six, the shuffle groove. This is a groove rooted in jazz and blues and is also based in triplets. 
You can also hear this groove in a variety of musical styles. Examples of songs are the classic Sweet Home Chicago by Robert Johnson, the rock tune Gold on the Ceiling by The Black Keys, and Pride and Joy by Steve Ray Vaughan. Number seven, last but not least, the famous one. I call this one the famous one because I see similar grooves like this one in several songs. Especially in funk music, you can hear this kind of grooves in James Brown tunes like the iconic funky drama. This groove works great in middle tempos and I think you must know this one. And that's it. I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you like it. Remember to get the free PDF with all these grooves in the description below. If you want to get started and learn more Cajon grooves, you can start with my free Cajon starter course. Link below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comment with your favorite grooves. Keep playing and having fun with the Cajon. This is the most important. I'll see you next time with another video. You got me tiptoeing around